Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been in the news, but perhaps not in the way they had anticipated. The renowned diva Mariah Carey recently criticized the Duchess of Sussex for what she saw as a premeditated decision to basically bring her own paparazzi onto a private jet during their recent outings. Mariah didn't hold back in her criticism of Meghan. The audacity of Meghan's actions evidently shocked Mariah Carey, especially considering that the Grenadines, where Meghan and Harry were cited, isn't exactly known for its paparazzi activity. Now, let's take a closer look at Meghan and Harry's recent actions with a critical eye. First and foremost, their choice of vacation destination raised more than a few eyebrows. They jetted off to the West Indies in October, a decision that baffled even seasoned travelers. The West Indies, during this time of year, is practically a ghost town. The prime season for these idyllic islands typically falls just before Christmas through early May, while the other months coincide with hurricane season, hardly an ideal time for a tropical getaway. Observers couldn't help but notice the eerie emptiness of the place and the fact that the couple seemed to be acting as if they were auditioning for a low-budget spy movie. PDA and hand-holding were notably absent from their agenda. These peculiarities fueled rampant speculation about their true intentions. But the real surprise was the fact that Meghan and Harry have been generating headlines lately, and not for their humanitarian efforts or groundbreaking initiatives. Take their recent trip to New York, for instance. While Prince William's visit to the same city was marked by considerable achievements and an ability to retain his privacy, Meghan and Harry's presence barely registered on the public radar. Their appearance at a symposium drew such a dismal turnout that it left many bewildered. It appears that their star power has dimmed considerably following their underwhelming stint in New York. Despite this, the dynamic duo decided to grace Atlanta with their presence, and reports suggest they went to great lengths to manufacture publicity, even hiring a photographer to document their every move at the airport. However, Atlanta's airport is far from an ordinary transit hub. It's one of the busiest in the world, complete with stringent security measures. Local residents can attest that lurking paparazzi are as rare as hen's teeth, and even famous residents like Tyler Perry and Mariah Carey can pass through without raising a single eyebrow. Speaking of Mariah Carey, the Grammy-winning icon recently managed to find a buyer for her Atlanta mansion, despite taking a substantial hit on the sale. Interestingly, she emphasized the privacy she enjoyed while residing there subtly insinuating that the absence of paparazzi was a major selling point. Meghan's efforts to dodge the media spotlight appear to have backfired spectacularly. Meghan and Harry's excursion to the island of Kanu'uan, where they arrived on a small jet, stirred controversy and accusations of blatant hypocrisy. Noted royal biographer Angela Lavon didn't mince words when she branded the couple as total hypocrites. She accused them of using their Caribbean getaway as an opportunity to network and schmooze with billionaires and Hollywood elites. Lavon's commentary concluded with the assertion that Meghan and Harry's attempts to court the rich and famous, whether in Hollywood or on Caribbean islands, have failed miserably, and they are allegedly seen as a laughingstock among the very circles they once aspired to be a part of.